Hi, my name is Matt, and I like to make things. So, today, I'm going to be making the guide from Terraria. So, to start, I have two references for the scale. One being the Minecraft Steve Amiibo, and one being a terrarium that I've made in the past. So, to start, I am going to be making a skeleton out of some wire. Uh, in this case, some paper clips. So, I, right here, I am copying down the proportions that are used by the Steve Amiibo. And, yeah. So, copy that down, and now all that is needed is to cut it to the proper shape, or, like, the proper arm length. Make sure that the arm is proper. Yeah. Right, so, now that that's all cut, you can throw that piece of wire over to the side, and you can copy that one half of the skeleton over to a different wire. So, you just grab that wire, and you just copy it over. And now you have two pieces of, we have both pieces of the skeleton that is new. Now with some aluminum foil, you turn that into a ribbon that can go around the stomach. And then you just put that around there in order to connect the two pieces of the armature. So, now that that's all good and the same size as Steven over there, uh, you're ready for the clay. So to start, I will be making some guide shirt green. And with that guide shirt green, I'm going to be covering the top part of the armature. And then, after that, I will be making some guide pants blue to cover some of the bottom part of the armature. Alright. So, with that guide shirt blue, I'm going to cover some of the bottom part of the armature, give them, give them some nice shorts so that I can make and then bake it. And then, so that I can make the bottom part of the shirt go over the shorts. So, now that that is, you just get a worm, you wrap it around, and you blend it into the body. Alright, so now that that's done, and all wrinkled at the bottom, uh, you can start working on the, uh, the legs. I guess. First bake it, and then you can go on to the legs. So, now you get a few little, a little worm, some little worms, and then you make the worms go on the legs, and then you smooth it in, and then that, it's done. So, now that that's all done and you got the knees on there, you get some guide shoe gray. And with that guide shoe gray, you make some shoes. Yeah. So, now that you get the shoe shape, you just put the shoes on there. And then, yeah, you cover the bottom part of the shoes up with a, a worm. So that it, the pants go over the shoes like they, they do in the game. So up now you start working on the arms. Which is very similar to the way that the legs are made. There's just some, some thick worms going over the exposed wire. And then you make some shoulders. Well, not... And then you make some shoulders and some elbows. And then... And then you blend it all in, all, all, all good, all good and nice. All right, now I have some guide skin tan. Okay. Then I'm making some hands. These hands don't have fingers, because I don't want to make fingers. So, now that that's done, I'm going to start making all of the little folds and wrinkles all over the guide shirt. And, uh... Yeah. Alright, so, with the wrinkles, you just get little worms, and you get them to 
the shape that you like it or that you want it and then you get it all good so now that you got that you just smooth it smooth it in to the correct degree and then it's all and then it's all good so so you just blend all of those in and it gets good so now that the front is done, you go over to the back, and then you do it on the back, and then you do it, and then you get, once it's done on the back, you do it on the arms. So, one, when you do it on the arms, you blend in the top, you blend in the bottom, you do the same thing as always, except this time, unlike the other ones, you cut the thingy in half. You, you indent it in half so now that the arms are done you go on to the legs and the legs you do it's the same oh wait no not the legs so you go on to the the, 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 the wrist next is the leg all right so once you got that all on there all good and nice you get a little you push it in slightly towards the center and you yeah so Right here, I have put a wire into the head, into the, well, where the head's supposed to be. And then you get a little flat sheet, and you make it all triangle like a, like a v-neck, and you push it all in there, and then, and then you get the, and then it shoots all, all great and grand. And then, once that is done, you get some guide shirt green, and you make a collar. Like the, the collar part of it, the upper shirt thingy. And then, once that's finished, then you start going onto the legs. And then you get that, and then you blend it all in. And now, now where we're, now it's on the, 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 the stuff. Yeah. Now we're on the pant leg thingies so you put that all there just like the the thing with the shirt and then it's basically the same process right, so now that that's done you got to go over to the neck so to start make a little a, a thick worm of the tan and with the tan you, you stab it on in there just shove it in there and then you make it all neck shaped all right now we are on to the head so for the head you make a big circle and with the big circle it's a big circle and the big circle originally is not gonna be the shape so you just gotta make sure you test the shape a lot so see there it's, it's too big too big so you gotta cut it down a little Make it a little bit smaller, a little bit, a little bit teeny. Kind of make it all teeny and tiny. So once, once you make it all teeny and tiny enough, you uh, get it back on there until it's all good and nice. So now that the head's all good, you blend the head into the neck. So you blend it into the neck, and then you got one thing. All right. So now you can set that off to the side. Because now, we need to make some eyes. So, with the eyes, it is two evenly sized circles, which get baked so that they don't lose their shape. So, now that you got two eyes, you shove the eyes into the head where the eyes are supposed to be, and then the eyes are in the head. It's as simple as that. Alright, so now that the, 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 that's where it's supposed to be, you cover up the sides with a thicker piece between the eyes for the base of the nose and then smaller worms around the eyes for what isn't the nose. Right. So, just like this on both sides and then you blend those in once those get done. And then, once those are blended in, you have the face but not yet because now you need to make the the forehead 
So to start, get a, a decently sized worm, flatten it out, and then smooth it in. But to shape. So once you get that all, all to shape, then that's all done. So now that that's done, you get the nose. So for the nose, it starts out as a circle that gets smoothed in. Now this is a simpler nose, so no nostrils. It's just one trying. It's just a. It's just a cone on the on where the nose is supposed to be. Nothing too fancy. All right, right here, I'm making the mouth by putting an indent into the face, and then yeah, this gets smoothed back in so that it gets to look like a mouth like that so now I am making the pupils just put some god eye brown where the pupils supposed to go and then you got to get some guide hair brown to get the hair well not well the eyebrows guide hair brown for the eyebrows and the hair but first the guy the eyebrows so that's a worm that gets cut up to size so now with the guide hair brown, you're going to make some guide hair. So to start, get a, a flat sheet and you make it all, all hair like, make some triangles in the front and then uh, you flatten it out in some places. Then you give them some sideburns and then it's going to look all good and all nice. Also, the head is baked here so that it doesn't get all out of whack. So, once you get him looking like a balding man from the 70s, then you are ready to put the rest of the hair on top of the head. So, for this, you get a thicker circle, and you flatten it out so that it's where it needs to be, so that it looks like a not balding man from the 70s. So... You smooth that in, and then you get make it all bumpy and all spiky. Give them some, some hair spikes until it looks all guide-like. So with the hair spikes, they start out as hair spikes, and then they stay hair spikes, but cut in half and positioned to my liking. So you get the hair spikes, and you make them all spiky. And then you, those are the hair spikes. And then the hair spikes, they get cut in half. And then get messed around with. They get pushed around until I like how it looks. So, once you get that done, then it's done. And the hair's all, all good and it's all nice. Then, what you gotta do is you have to do the next thing which is make some arrows. So in this, I'm also making the guide's weapon of choice, which is a bow and arrow, a wooden bow with wooden arrows. So to start, I will be making three even, evenly about equal sizes of the wire, or in this case, a paper clip again, and then covering it with some wood brown, wood brown color, and then you cover those, and then once you're done with that, you get some off-white and a little bit of brown, some dirty white, and then you make some triangles, and then you put all the triangles on there, and then you put all the triangles on all the, all the, all the arrows, and then all the arrows have the triangles. So, all right, so now that you get that, we're going to start working on the arrow tip. So you cut off a little bit from the front, and then you make some, some arrow tip gray into a, a pointy triangle. And then with the pointy triangle, you know what you gotta do with the pointy triangle. You gotta stab the pointy triangle onto the exposed wire so that it makes an arrow. All right, so you just copy all those instructions for three arrows, and then you're done with the arrows. So now it, that it's all all baked, you cover the guide shirt with a little strap for a quiver. 
I think that's what it's called. So then, make it with some fancy details on that. And then you get some leather, some, some dark brown for it, then make it into a sheet, and then you cover up the arrows, and then, and then if you get any that you don't need, you just cut it off. So, once you cut that off, you gotta, you gotta mold it to your liking, so that it looks all good and all great. Alright, so, once you get that done, you attach it to the back of the guide, in this case so that the arrows are face are facing the right side of him his right thing, I guess so now that that is done you make it you make a lighter brown across the top for some design make it all all great and all grand and all all superb and then that is that part done, technically. And you're on to the ears, the most important part. How it's going to hear to like and subscribe the video. Alright, so now that you got the ears, make sure to cover up any part of the sideburn that gets covered up by the ears. And... Now we're going to start getting some wire and curving it up to be a wooden bow so so you cut the wire to the proper size that it needs to be and, and then you cover it in some more wood brown and then you just cover that up all good you know all nice and yeah you smooth it out so that it's all all grand and spectacular and then i i like to get some off white and wrap it around the center and I just think it looks nice. You don't have to. Alright, now that you got that, that's all done. You have, and then it's baked, and then you get a metal wire about the size of the in-between for the two parts, and you cover it in some very brown off-white, and then you put it on there, and then that's the arrow string. I mean... The arrow string has to be made out of wood, since that's what it looks like. So, now that's that. Now that that's done, you attach it to the quiver part using some straps. So, if you get one one strap on the top, one strap on the bottom, blend them in all good and all nice, and then, mwah, chef's kiss. So now that now you blend all those all those straps in, which is just it's just some worms, some flattened worms. Now, the guide itself is pretty much finished. Now you just need to get some dirt brown, flatten it into a hill side, and then with the dirt brown you cover it in some grass green. You make sure that it's not, you rough it up, make sure it's not flat, that it's the opposite of flat. And then you just shove the guide into the base, and then it's finished. Alright, now that it's baked, it is 100% completed. Right. So, as you can see, we have ourselves a finished product. Alright, so, now... It's the end of the video. We're on to the to the glamour shots. And you should like and subscribe. We're on the way to 100 subscribers. So, subscribe, baby. Let's get to that milestone. Let's go. Let's, yeah. Yeah.